Hey, it's Sizzling Popcorn, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up AI, hire them, and get them working so that when you're not working, they are working and generating you some money. Let's get started right away. So I've got $11,300 in cash. I haven't done anything yesterday. I've rented a, a 182, a Cessna 182. That is costing me because every day the minimum rental price is one hour, one flight hour. So it's about $250 that I have to pay every day. So yesterday I would have lost $250 because I really didn't make any revenue with it because I did absolutely nothing with it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to hire AI staff and then we're, we're going to get them working and I'll show you how you can make it so that they can do several jobs in a row and, and then get back so that way they can work throughout a whole day or even maybe two days on their own and uh, you don't have to worry about it. Actually, I say you don't have to worry about it, but if they do have bad weather, they will go to their alternate uh, landing spot. And if they do that, you then have to take them from there and send them over to finish off the job. So right now we're going to go in and we're going to take a look at uh, hiring an employee. Go into world, hire employees. Uh, we cannot hire employees or freelance yet due to our skill tree. But I do have one point. So what I'll do is I'll use that one point so I can get a hiring agreement and hire AI. Now I can hire pilots, co-pilots, flight attendants and mechanics. We don't need a ladder at this point. And here you're going to want to look for someone that's punctual, but not only punctual, but someone that has a, uh, a high stress resistance. And then you want to look at how much uh, they're, they're charging for, for their hours or their wages. So in this case, you got per week. So this is their weekly minimum guaranteed salary when hired. Then this is their per flight hour salary when hired. And then wages is their per flight hour wages for freelancers. So someone that you're not hiring as a full-time staff, but someone that's um, just doing some freelance a couple of hours here or there. Minimum, you'd have to pay them 115 bucks. We'll take a look at... Let's go with uh, Manuela Fernandez Mello. We're, we're going to hire as a, as a freelance. The other thing you got to take in consideration is the certification. How many certifications do they have? And do they have the correct certification for your plane? Because we've got the Cessna 182. That's going to be a single piston engine LAN certification. So she's got nine certifications. Well, evaluator. So we've got her, her date of birth, her total flight hours, per flight hour salary, weekly guaranteed salary, and then freelancing. She charges $133 an hour and daily guaranteed wages is uh, 399 so that means she needs to have at least three hours minimum in order to uh, really to, for it to be worth it. Because if if not, you only apply, give her like one hour of uh, work. She's not charging 133. It's going to be the 399. Taking so a look at her certifications, she does have the single engine piston LAN, so that's good. She also has jet and heavy jet. So I could later on hire her full time when we get into jets, if that's how we go. Here I'm going to put, uh, but we can hire her, select the home airport. We're actually going with the, we're hiring her as a freelancer. We're going to go with the freelance for three days. CYHZ for Halifax and then hire as a freelance. So now you see she's there. She's currently idling at uh, CYHZ. And flight hours. She has no flight hours with us. 
then we can manage. So let's say the because the plane is in Halifax, but let's say the plane was in Moncton. I can always transport her to that airport and then it'll take time for her to get there. It's not an instant, so you know, like beam me up, Scotty, beam me down. It's not Star Trek here. This is uh real time kind of deal. So she is at CYHZ. And the other thing is she's gonna have to rest at some point. We'll get her uh, working first. So let's go back out here. We'll take a look at uh, the jobs, find jobs. And we're gonna go from uh, CYHZ. They don't have any passengers. Uh, well, I can't fly passengers at this point because we don't have that skill yet. Well, that's a, a little short trip, but we might have something better here. I'm gonna go with a, a longer flight, so a medium uh, medium trip. So we can send her over to. This is down in. Weed, New Haven, New Haven, I think, it, yeah, Connecticut. And so she got electronic devices, 497 uh, pounds for the cargo. And with our current plane, that is, that's great. But we'll take that job and then we'll go from, we'll take a look at KHEN. See, can she return back to Halifax? Is, is there anything back? If not, we might have to go to another destination before she comes back. Two opportunities here. So this one would take her to Hamilton, Ontario. And this one would take her down to Fentress Nalf. And Fentress Nalf is just uh, south of uh, Virginia Beach. I would say, well, it's actually more, more lucrative. And that's that's another thing that you gotta watch out here is, it might look great on paper. Hey, yeah, $2,720 is a lot more than you know, 1,880. But you gotta realize how much fuel, what's your distance, all that kind of stuff. You can go, pretty deep into this if you really want or you can just like fly at the seat of your pants kind of deal and say yeah let's go with the bigger money but it's not always the best deal we in this case we are going to send her up to uh, Hamilton that way we'll then send her back through Canada back into uh, into Halifax so we'll take that job now if we go back over here my company pending jobs you can see there's the two jobs and then there's also the level of one mission level one mission i actually have to fly this we're not going to worry about that and each of the these two jobs only have uh one uh one segment so that's good that there's no multiple segments so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our aircraft because uh, workloads are going to be tied to a specific aircraft. We're going, or not workloads, but work orders. Click on the more, click on work orders. Create a new work order. Now here, we're going to call this, uh, you can call it pretty much anything. Let's just go work order A. Destination, so departures Halifax. Destination is going to be going to be a KHBN. and we're going to take this load from Halifax over there. We've got too much weight, but do we have an, uh, and we have enough fuel, so that's that's fine. 
And then here you can say what is required. And they've already put the alt alternate. And employees, this would be employees as passengers. You don't need to put that in. Here we're going to put the pilot. It's going to be Manuela Fernandez Mello. And then we'll add another leg. Next leg will be from uh, HVN. And then we'll send her to uh, Hamilton, Ontario. And a Hamilton, Ontario flight. Gonna need the uh, to load in the, the food crates here. And fuel wise, we'll be fine like that. And now you can click on uh, refresh. Actually, the activation date. Activation date, we're gonna have it October 7th. 125 right now oh yes yeah, okay one yeah it's one 125 but this is in uh, GMT and I'm at uh, GMT minus three so that is like three minutes ago so that that's completely fine we'll uh, click on refresh and then we can start this so now if you if we take a look at the live operations map You'll see that the the plane is uh, getting ready for, for takeoff. She's idling. In a couple of minutes, she will then be in the air. And then you'll be able to track where the plane is at. Nice uh, nice feature to, uh, to be able to manage your AI. Well, she's got enough work here for, for the day. And that workload, you can add more to it. Or you can uh, create a uh, separate uh, work orders and uh, go from there. If you want, you can also have it that you uh, you can have a pilot fly one work order and then a, a different pilot fly a different order. So when she gets to Hamilton, well then I can have another pilot in Hamilton waiting for the plane and then they take off and then I can't schedule her rest time but the other pilot can take off and then I'd have to come in to the uh, into the game and put her on uh, rest so that she's well rested and doesn't cause crash well that's it for this video if you have any uh, questions about on-air airline manager make sure to ask them in the comments below and if you uh, if you like the video make sure you smash that like button if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you'll know when the next video comes out or when I go into a live stream. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.